Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to do a quick video on the uh, Vengeance mod on Star Trek. Uh, I've been having a lot of issues from like day one where out of the box the spring would like the, the ship would kind of lean and point more to the right of the play field and you know block these uh, the skill shots up on top over there, the different lanes over there. So you couldn't see anything that was going on. So. Uh, what I did was I tried all the different I wrote on pin side I saw you know people talking about the wiring that you know that's over here behind the ship how to run it through the different uh, wire ties and adding a wire tie and all kinds of stuff so what I did was I called up Stern and I told him the problem like I think the spring there's a spring under here if you could see right here that holds the ship onto this mounting bracket here and this is what kind of makes the ship turn and do what it does. But even without the wiring, if I turn the ship this way, it would just stay that way. It would never kind of, you know, go back to center. So I just added the new spring that Stern sent me, and it actually seems like it's working pretty well right now. And how do you get access to that is that, I don't know if you need to do all this, but I took this bracket off here. There's like a mounting bracket under here where my pointer is. There's like six screws that hold that on. I remove that. And then that gives you access to the spring, and there's a there's a nut down here that screws to the bracket, and then there's a nut on top of the ship that um, it screws to the bracket of the ship, you know, so everything is locked down. So I removed both of those nuts, put the new spring on, you know, bolted it back down to this bracket again, and so far it seems like it's working. But what I'm going to do now is kind of take these wires. Let me just zoom out here for a minute so we could get more view. These wires go where my pointer is underneath this play field here, like back through the back over here of the of the you know back of the play field, the, the wood that's back here. They go through that hole, and then you need to kind of fasten them down back there. There's a there's gonna be a wire tie that needs to get applied again somewhere in this vicinity here like where my pointer is and it's hard to see but that like the wires have to run through that and you need to give it enough access so this ship could do what it does and not bind on the wires either so you have to make sure you give it enough play in the wiring when you reapply your wires uh, so you know the ship could you know turn back and forth without getting stuck in a position or going forward when it, it gets killed and all that stuff so I'm gonna put the wires back on and you know uh, tie everything back in together and come back and see if that did the job or not okay so I finally got done adjusting my vengeance ship and it's pretty centered uh, Thank God. It only took me about five hours to get this done. Not really, but um, it took me a while. It's, it's not complicated, but you have to kind of figure out where the slack has to go into the wire and where you need to give it you know, enough slack so it can move left to right and forward and back, but also kind of go back to the position of where it needs to be to be centered. So the way that I did mine, and I've read a lot of things on pin side and what people said and all that, but I wanted to get mine somewhat centered. Mine was so off to the right, it was really bad. But what I did, I mean, if this could help anybody, I mean, I ran the wire in the back, you know, underneath the play field, you know, back, if I could kind of get over there, um, right here is the wiring of how it goes back to the vengeance ship here so that it all you know this whole big three spool thing i also have the uh, ve the vengeance mod on there that's like a uh the leds that go around the front of the ship but it goes through this like tie that's you know screwed into the back of the wood and, it, and you got to figure out like really right where you want where it needs to go i have it right a little bit above where the electrical tape would be where it kind of ties all these wires together that's where i started mine i also put the vengeance mod through that wire uh, tie too or the you know the thing that secures it to the back of the of the play field here so then it runs up you know here where my fingers are these wires here then it goes through the hole 
on the left side underneath the warp ramp. That's It's not to the right, it's to the left of the warp ramp. That's where I have mine. It goes through this wire um, tie here again, or this, uh, you know, the thing to organize the wiring. So, but it gives it enough slack to give it enough play to go left and right and forward and back. Uh, so, mine goes through that, and I have my tie, or my uh, wires, uh, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like a, it, you know, it kind of secures the wire down and kind of cleans it up a bit. But I have it jacked all the way, you know, as you could see, more towards the left of the play field. And I give it enough slack here. You can kind of see the wire a little bit as you're playing the game, but I really don't care at this point. It's centered. It works great now. So the wire, I give it enough slack here so when it goes back and forth and left to right that this wire here takes that. That's what gives it that left and right, but then kind of has enough tension to put it back to center again. And that's what you're trying to do. I've also read other people put another, like, you know, one of these things over here on this screw, this middle screw here underneath the ship. But I tried it and it just doesn't, it, it's too tight and it doesn't allow it to go left to right. So um, so I had a problem with that, so I couldn't do this. So this is great, I, it worked out really well. It's centered, let me just drop the play field down so we could kind of see it that way. Uh, just... not the most professional but I'll edit that out somewhat and you could pretty much see it's pretty dead on you know and if we go into test mode I'm holding the camera on my my tripod so it's a little shaky here so if we go to game and we go to ship I kind of got to need my other hand so hoping that this will stay like that. So if I hold the, the, um, the to enable the, uh, the 20 volts inside, the 50, 20 volts inside the cabinet here. So now if I do the ship, it drops and it'll go back up and go back into position the way that it should. Again, that's what you need. If, if you don't have enough tension or if there's not a, if there's not enough slack in that wire, that ship won't drop down or it won't go back to the position of where it should be. So that's as centered as I'm going to get it. Uh, you know, again, I've I've tried numerous things. This is as centered as it's been. And again, I got a new spring from Stern. It somewhat helped, I guess, but I don't think that was the total issue. The total issue is finding that sweet spot of where that cabling should lie. And, uh, and again, it's, it's a lot better than what it was. So if that could help anybody out, you know, great. Um, if anybody has any ideas, I'd like to hear their ideas as well. If you want to email it to me, I'll post it on my blog, uh, info at pinballsupernova.com. Uh, Pinside has a post with it with a couple options that I've read. Those options really didn't help me too much, but I appreciate everybody writing to me and wanting to help. I really appreciate that, and good luck. You know, it takes some time to figure out what that sweet spot is. So, again, thanks for watching my videos, and you can watch more of my videos at, on my blog, and you can access all my, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube uh, pages at www.pinballsupernova.com. Again, thanks again, and talk to you soon.